Hey guys and welcome to Upfront Games Week 29, episode 29, whatever the hell you want to call it, right? Okay, um, so things are a little bit slim as we get closer to the holidays, uh, game releases, um, not as prevalent, at least not when, when it comes to AAA. Obviously we know that, you know, you're so close to Christmas, a lot of the retailers slash developers, etc., released toward the end of November, beginning of December for any big titles for the year just because of the fact that it doesn't really make sense for you to be shopping three days before Christmas most of the time. It doesn't really allow them a lot of bang for their buck. But let's go ahead and get into it anyway. We only have two trailers this week because of those releases um, around Christmas. So uh, Mini Motor Racing is going to be our video for PlayStation, so let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, that was Mini Motor Racing. Obviously, you can do this on uh, Standard or VR. So, looks pretty cool. Uh, it takes me back to kind of like tabletop racing if you played that on PlayStation. Great little game just to kind of pass time here and there. Um, but let's jump into the rest of PlayStation news for the week. So, last minute holiday shopping. Not so much here, but if you're in that boat, um, from December 15th to the 28th, PlayStation has deals that got you covered. So PS4 bundles, $249.99, uh, Days Gone, $19.99, Death Stranding, $39.99, Spider-Man, $19.99, and hit up psdirect.com if you want to take part in their sale. You buy two or three select games, you save 30 to 50% off your total purchase. Um, the thing that's cool about these sales that are going on, they're all kind of all together. Um, so PlayStation just did a, a huge Game Awards sale, um, end of a holiday season sale, you know, end of the year sale, etc. They're all just kind of melding together. So there's a lot of stuff in there that um, uh, you can get for cheap. Um, if there's noise in the background, I apologize. I am at, it is in my house. Normally it's quieter, but I got people running around today. So, um, still trying to get this video done for y'all. Anyway, uh, lastly for PlayStation, so new PS4 early access clothing, emotes, and more for Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Uh, until January 21st, uh, the free Moonshiner Band expansion, uh, new hideout at Beaver Hollow, uh, new apparel and emotes, photo mode, four new story mode mission types, and more are available in Red Dead Redemption 2 and online. So go ahead and check that out if you still have it. I, I still have it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into it and uh, see where all this all this goes. Um, all right, that's it for PlayStation. Let's move into Xbox. Um, Xbox's preview for today is Dawn of Man. It releases 1218. Check it out.
All right. So that was Donna Man uh, for Xbox releases on 12.18. That's kind of interesting if you just kind of want to play through that whole creationary area where, well, not so much creationary, but, you know, making sure that you're kind of putting together a new civilization from scratch. Looks kind of cool. All right. Um... So Xbox News got pretty huge this week uh, with the Game Awards. Obviously, those of you that haven't been living under a rock know that Xbox Series X is available holiday 2020. Uh, yes, that is the name. Um, I'm not sold on that. Uh, form factor, it just kind of looks like a, a cubed version. It seems to stand vertical only. Um, this cool little power of light at the top. Sure. Cool. Um, I'm not a big fan of the design, to be honest with you. But um, it is what it is. It being Xbox Series X, however, uh, tends to prove that the Anaconda slash Lockhart series of consoles um, is more a reality However, again, the, the form factor and the name, not so sure about. However, I was impressed with the reveal of Senua Saga Hellblade 2 um, that was shown at the Game Awards as Phil, Sp Phil Spencer unveiled Xbox Series X to the public. So um, it does look amazing. So I'm, I'm actually waiting to see, because PlayStation 5 had a third-party developer there um, that released a preview for Godfall, and it wasn't, it wasn't entirely up to par with what the PlayStation 5 is capable of. So I'm kind of waiting on a first-party development studio that can go ahead and put something together that teases all of that information um, as well as the graphics and, and whatnot that we could see from one of those developers. Um, however, it, it looks good. There hasn't been, there hasn't been a price point. There hasn't been anything that um, has really been in depth with it. It was pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I think the biggest thing was that the controller seemed to have not really changed a whole lot it seems to be the same controller as you're using now if you have an xbox one um so anyway that was that was it for xbox um on series x uh also ticket to ride is up now on xbox store for 19.99 um it's a game where you link cities by rail it's based off a 2004 board game which is actually a um, pretty good game in itself uh, for what it is. But uh, if you're interested in that board game or the game itself, um, go ahead and check that out. There's expansions available and all sorts of stuff on Xbox. So um, that is it for Xbox. As I said, we only had a couple videos um, this week because of the fact that we are near the holidays and, well, everything near the holidays means less major game releases just because of the fact that um, there's it's already been done like earlier um, but obviously the likes of Sony and uh, Microsoft will still be releasing games um, every week however uh, it looks like Nintendo and Stadia are not Stadia is um, understandable just because of the fact that it's brand new it's in its infancy um, it's got a lot of things to work on at this point I honestly have a founders edition but um, I've only played like the free games because I'm not gonna start wasting my money until they can prove to me that it's going to be 100% viable um, at the end of the day if uh, it does not Proved to be well. I got a Chromecast Ultra, so hey. Um, all right, so let's move into Nintendo. Uh, 
there's no release again. So there's that. So you just get to hear me talk for another couple minutes till we wrap this all up. Um, Switch has surpassed Xbox One in sales numbers. A lot of people are very, very impressed with this. And to be honest with you, I mean, I am too. Um, you've got Xbox One X and Xbox One family of consoles that have been out um, for a while. And Switch has surpassed those numbers. They were somewhere in the 40 million range uh, with over a million units sold in the last month that overtook uh, Microsoft and Xbox sales. Um, so good on them. Um, Microsoft struggled to get off the ground to begin with, and uh, now we're here. So they are now um, the third in the console market as a whole with this generation as far as sales numbers are concerned. That doesn't make them any less of a uh, good council, but um, hey, it is what it is, and uh, they're going to keep on trucking up until the Series, series X release. So um, hopefully that one does a lot better. And if their preview has anything to do with it, they very well um, may. Okay, um, a task force seized 340 fake Nintendo Mini Classic systems in Raleigh, North Carolina. Retail value was roughly $800,000 if those were um, trademark systems. Um, so they, the original comes with like 30 ROMs or whatever, and these ones had 620 to 800 ROMs. Um, the retailer that was about to sell them gave them up willingly, um, but it was $800,000 in trademark value for those uh, systems. However, again, they were all counterfeit, so um, those have been removed. And moving into Stadia. Stadia has made adjustments on the store. It was rather confusing with game add-ons. At, at one point, you would go into the store, and it would literally show Mortal Kombat additions at the top. At the bottom of that listing, it would state that uh, you needed to have the original game in order to get these add-ons. However, it was very unclear as far as... Um, what like whether you were purchasing the actual game or the add-on because it was in the front of the store so now they've done what most companies have done and that is that they've put the add-ons with the game itself so you, when you go to the game page you can go to the add-ons and buy them from there makes more sense right yes 100 percent so um Guys, that's it. So there's no no Stadia video, no Nintendo video. Um, just some news for them. And overall, we'll see you next week. I think at the end of the year, we're going to do a games that should be remastered or made now. That would be great. I've got a couple in mind that I'd love to touch on. Um, so we will we'll go over that at the end of the month so we will see you next week which is after christmas so it'll be interesting um so oh actually no it's three days prior to christmas my bad um anyways questions comments uh like subscribe all of that good jazz uh comment below and please share disperse again we're trying to get to uh, our 50 subscriber marks so we can give a couple things away um, so look forward to that anyway peace guys